Ah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hands off my computer. I don't know what he's doing. Hands off. Hands off. He's trying so to mad, steal people. <laughs> so mad. First they troll me, now I can, I, I can do nothing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're about to go I'm live. Just a troller and you're guy. leaning over me like this. Troller guy. You've got you to gotta, you gotta be ready, man. We've got to be prepared. Always ready. Yeah, always ready. So, Mio Makers versus CJ Enters. It is the battle for top place. Mm. Who do we think is going to take it? CJ Enters looking pretty good there. Insect looking amazing in the jungle. But Meet Your Makers have looked unstoppable so far this tournament. We have a direct comparison available. They have both played against CLG EU and Mim have made it look a lot easier than yes. CJ Enters. So based on that, I would give it to Mim. But actually, CLG was playing since our meet. Yeah, okay. Fiddlestick jungle. Oh, that's I was going to say Rumble Top, but I, I, I don't know why. They, <laughs> he can play Rumble Top. Apparently, I just read, yeah, I just read that was Rumble random. Top was a random pick. Yeah. They didn't, they, they didn't want to pick Rumble. They just I mean, didn't so know what to pick. They so could have had worse. It could have been much worse. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. It could have, it it could could have been Heimer. They could have had Karma. They could have had Heimer. They could have had anyone. You really think it could be worse? I mean, in the end of With the game... With Wicked top lane? Yeah, it could have been a lot. Game, at least at the end so of the plays. game, Syria had more gold than Rumble. Yeah. Well, that was for the most part Nunu of the game, had actually. more gold than, than Rumble. To be fair, he was camped. Oh, and that, look at that Charo. Look at that Charo here. Oh, that's man. Our hair that's boy. so dreamy. So dreamy. So dreamy. That's Mokata yeah. yeah. next to him, of course. Not so dreamy. Him. Not so dreamy. <laughs> he looks scary. Honestly, I would not like to meet I him. I, I, uh, honestly, I think most of the team looks scary. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That's the way they play, too. The way that you hear their voice chat. It's not just saying, people say, yeah, guys, that was crazy. Like, go, go, kill, kill. That's that's all you hear they from are, them. They are very, a very loud team. Yeah. Uh, remind like me that. like the I French teams. Like, the French teams, like, French teams are generally pretty loud. And, of course, this guy sat next to me is a pretty loud journey. Um, but... Honestly, they yeah, they're they're a loud team. They cheer. They high five. <laughs> yeah, high five. <laughs> yeah, they, they are really really aggressive team. Really impressive team. Most likely this tournament, they are they beat CLD really short time. Really easily. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So the and question is, can they beat the Koreans? CJ enters as easily. Can they top the group? Will they face SK Telecom? Or will they face Fnatic? And who wants to face Fnatic? So no one at the moment let's, right let's, now. Let's let's think, who, um, how much research could this, these teams have done on each other? So obviously, CJ Enters could watch I Am Singapore. That's the big... CJ Enters were sat watching all the games. They, when all I was right. at the screen, they've sat watched all the games. So, that's so when MYM were playing, they were sat watching them. Yeah. What but could as well as MYM, I guess? I guess MYM I mean, probably were as well, when yeah. When CJ Enters was playing, I guess MYM was Almost watching certainly the would have watched the last game. Would they, yeah. would they ban Zed? Off the I don't think that? so. Mm. I, I, mean, I mean, that's the first Zed we've seen, because this is the first tournament we've had Zed uh, in uh, as apparently, a batch. Apparently, we got this off Reddit, so I'm not sure how true it is, <laughs> but apparently in the team chat, uh, somebody from CLGU was asking what Zed's ultimate does. So maybe that was, that was a factor that played into the uh, effect of Zed, if you uh, don't really know what it is. It's always tricky. You, you gotta, it's good to know what, what the ultimate is. It helps, does. it helps, yeah. And is that a factor of just traveling that much? I mean, I, t I mentioned it earlier and used it overconfidence, but if something like that is coming into your game, then maybe maybe it's time I mean, you actually sat down and practice this game. Yeah, if, if I'm in a tournament and someone from my team randomly asks me, what does this guy ultimate? Uh, I will probably, I don't know, rage quit or I don't know. <laughs> Uh, there, there are some videos on the internet that I, I'm rating, probably going going to do the same on tournament, so I don't know. So maybe it, that's, it that's really, what really someone madness. has done. Yeah. Yeah. Oslo had asked you, you know, what, what yep, does yep. Karma do again? What what does does karma. <laughs> karma. <laughs> yep, we're going to have now CG enters against Meteor Makers. I don't really know who's going to win. I believe, or I, I trust all my European players. Mm -hmm. I trust on MYM. I think they're an amazing team. This is, this is a true test for them now. Yeah, I mean, yes. the COG, they made look easy. Maybe COG were not on the top of the game, but yeah. CJ Enters uh, are looking pretty good. You know, they're, a, I'd say, a Tier 2 Korean team. I wouldn't say Tier 1. I wouldn't put them up there with uh, Azubu Frost. Uh, Blaze. Yeah. And Night in Short. Yeah, I wouldn't put them up there with them. Um, Katie Ross. Oh, wow. Well. And then we see the guys. Bam. Guys. First band. Excuse Zed. me. First band Z. Yes. yes. Band. Well, oh, band. I guess they were watching that last game and they're like, oh. yeah. And that may actually be more a case of they don't know how to play against the Jungle Zed rather than a case of we're worried about that champion, yeah, we're fearful of the champion. It's like we don't know how to deal with that as and a team composition. from the other Lame. side, we have another normal band mm. after watching. Well, Mackler, of course. Yeah. You, you know, don't let him have it. 
simple as that. Zyra being taken out. Interesting. Well, I mean, what else are we thinking that CJ Enzo is maybe going to go with what, from what we've seen of Meet Your Makers? Katarina, I guess. Probably Oriana or Katarina. Oriana. Very good. Very, very good. Jaru, yeah. Jaru was strong on him. And course. probably last band going to be something like Rengar or something like... What about Diana then? Di I don't think so. Would you, would you let I them have Katarina? Why not? Hmm. Didn't they have Katarina open last game? MYM? No, I mean CJ Enters. No, no, we're oh, talking yeah, about band. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking words CJ Enters, let them have him. Which for? It's for you you got to go one at a time, okay? Yeah, can't you handle one multiple tasks? I thought you, nope. I thought you pro one players one. could do multiple things. It was the fate. The twist of fate we see from CJ Enters. It wasn't that good. Renga, so Katarina yeah. is available. Katarina is available, and I think... He's got to go for yeah, it. Yeah, he's always first picking Katarina. Yeah, he loves, he loves to play. Actually, There's Diana there to counter it. Actually, I think, I think Twisted Fate is really annoying the ultimate but last game he didn't do that much he did have, I think, he, I think he, was, he helped with the catch on uh, yellow pete of course Fla uh, jack's Ooh. flash stunt in as well so the question is is insect really a strong lee sin player because Ooh, he he's been be. banned against him a few I times mean, you've got to think if he's a top jungler he's got to be yeah for sure i mean in europe the the better junglers are are, are famous mainly by listen we see like like Diamond Prox, listen, is just amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest restrain myself. <laughs> you, yeah. you left it open there for me to just go straight out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna restrain myself on that one, Aaron. Straight I'm gonna on the restrain game. Restrain myself. Yeah. Focus on the focus on picks. the game. <laughs> Please don't hold out right now. Just focus on the listen pick and the Caitlyn pick Ooh. by CG Enters. So is, is there gonna be a Nunu Caitlyn again? Is my question. Oh, Ethereal. Troll. Ah, uh, okay, I like it. I like it. Last second tropics. Korean trolling. Yeah, nice. Now we're probably gonna see from MYM, oh, I was gonna say Son or Nunu. Nunu K. It's Nunu, Nunu and probably from 80, gonna see Corky. Uh, sorry, Graves. Graves. I was about to say. But Graves with Nunu doesn't work at all, so hmm. probably gonna be Caitlyn. Yeah. And the Nunu is locked in, of course, could be jungle, but we would not expect that. It could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mokate. Mogad is, is, is a player as well with with really uh, a small champion pool. Small, I can, yeah. I can tell you I can tell you what he can play. Oh, that's what he game. can play is Yodir, what he can play is Karna, what he can play is Malphite and Mimi probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and pretty nothing. tanky champions then. That's it, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like the like the tanky support role jungler. It's so, not really aggressive. Tell me this, you, you must know this. When Lee Sin and Udyr meet very early in the jungle, who Lee wins Sin. the one we want? Just Lee Sin, straight out. Because Udi is a pretty good battler normally too, but none of uh, Listen, if you go like level three, uh, Tiger and Phoenix stands, both stands, you can match up to okay. Listen. But it's still really risky. Like Listen, level two, level three, it's only equal by Xin Sao and I guess nothing else. Wow. And there is the Diana that we... The Diana counts yeah. as cat. That's, that's that generally what most people go with. Uh, Lulu, of course, as the support. So what are we thinking top lanes for both teams? I love it. It would be great. I love it, Darius. Kubon on Darius, possibility. It. We have to remember that in Singapore, Singapore. he got a pentakill with Darius. He did get a pentakill. It wasn't all dunking, sadly. It was three dunks, then yeah. he messed up one dunk and get the last kill with a Q and an auto attack. And oh, of course, Lulu Cogmore. Yeah. So I, I'm liking this team uh, quite a bit. There's a couple of lanes that are like like the Darius lane. What we often see is even if Darius falls behind, he will still have an impact on the game. He will still be able to, to make something happen just because of that that executioner style ultimate. There is of course going to be teleport. Katarina just going to be all over the map. Going to have so much of an uh, impact. And even if all else fails, there's Nuno Kogmo, and that's just insane amounts of damage. I mean, we're we thinking this is yeah, this is like a. This is covering all the bases. This is a yep. snowball start or a late game stomp. Uh, CD Andrews has better setup. Why? Explain. Just watching the picks. You have Diana, you have Olaf, you have Listen. Mm -hmm. If Kogma managed to do a good team fight, I will go to Mackler and, and give him a hug. <laughs> like, he's going to be epic if he can do a good team fight with Diana, Olaf, and you. It's pretty much impossible. I mean, they're all going to be, yeah, I mean, that's. that's there's four people that can just bypass people to get to you. So one of them is going to make it through. Yeah, but still, it's like only you there can stop someone of them. Nunu has really slow CC, like... No, you really can apprehend them or slow them. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not enough. Like, Olaf Ultimate, 
Can you mm -hmm. stop Olaf Ultimate? Well, can you stop not. Diana ultimating on you? Mm -hmm. That's something impossible. Probably only Darius can, can so take a Diana as, one As Jack would say at this point, it's simply a case of the game will eventually turn for MYM the moment that Cogmore can solo Olaf. I don't think it, it, and that, if it, it. I don't think that moment exists. It does exist. It gets to that point. I've seen it many times. At minute seven. Oh, at minute six. No, obviously, obviously minute six, not. Yeah. It's, it's a late game. It's always a late game. It happens in, but it does happen. And once that happens, there's but nothing it, they can it, do to it, come it's back. It's not a point only about Olaf. It's a point also about Diana. It's mm -hmm. not possible. I mean, the only way MYM has to win this game is really, really doing a great early game. So if okay, the early level game, one. They fall down. I don't think it's it's any 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 way to win this game. Level one, who are we looking at? Uh, I, I mean, MYM have invaded all the time. Are yes. they going to do it again? They have a good level one, but as well as CG Enters. CG Enters has really good level one as well. So it could be both of them. And I think like Korean style, Korean style are really good at level one, but MYM are, are really amazing level ones they are doing. A quick word, who do you think is going to win? I'm going to go with MYM. MYM. CG enters. MYM, CG enters. They are split here at the analyst desk. Let's go over to the caster's desk. Here's Joe Miller and, and Jason. But, but I love you. James. So here we go then. Meet your makers versus CJ enters. The game for the first and second position, or more importantly, I guess, uh, the game which decides who plays Fnatic and who plays SK Telecom tomorrow in these two semi-finals. Obviously, the winner will go on to play SK Telecom. The loser will play Fnatic in tomorrow's semi-finals. So, Jason, we heard what the uh, experts had to say about this game. What's your opinion? Meet your makers were playing so well today. We see uh, Makata going to be on his Adir. We see Charu on Katarina yet again. Macro going to be at Kog'Maw this time. I'm going to, you know, I, I think I'm going to give it to Meet your makers. However, CJ Antis did take second pick. They won the coin flip. They could have had first. So I'm really curious if they uh, are really, um, you know, confident in countering what Meet your makers can put out. What about you, Joe? Yeah, I think that's a valid point as well. Letting that Katarina coming in, uh, picking up that Diana afterwards straight away into that. I mean, we've seen that Diana is a champion that can stop this Katarina really getting involved in the game. So uh, we'll have to see how that one all works out. I mean, CJ and Meet Your Makers have both looked very, very good today. Both beating uh, CLG with uh, in very different ways, yeah. I'm going to say, from that one. Obviously, uh, we had a long game in uh, CJ versus CLG and a fairly short, concise victory for Meet Your Makers in our first game of the day. Looks like oh. Meet Your Makers maybe looking oh, for something here at level one. Yeah, Olaf is getting caught, but he's not going to die from That's Darius. Close. And Udi at level one. Uh, but Meet Your Makers here are working their way around towards this blue buff area. They're slow actually coming down onto Macklin. He's forced to flash already to get himself away from that danger. And that will be blue buff started off here, and that's going to be taken. Something important though, they held him off that blue. Makati was able to run in there, still uh, the race, and still red buff away from Lee Sin. So that's going to keep him really far behind. Even though they did both that summoner spell macro there to get that uh, flash to get away, it's still completely working out in their favor. It was like a two pronged invade we saw there. And it uh, worked out really well for Mutual Makers. And they're, like you were saying, they're really well known for their level one uh, jungle. Oh, well, yeah. level one fight, sorry. See here, Charu versus Dade in the middle. And Lee Sin is now inside of this jungle, trying to get that red buff for himself. Let's see, Nunu actually going to come here. Will he end up flashing away from this win? Uh, Lee Sin? No, he won't, because he already used his flash already in this one. He is chasing down Limit here. Not going to be able to uh, finish off anything there, but he's got. Kinch and Dade coming in to help him out with this red buff. Libic needs to be a little bit careful, but Udia and Katarina coming around the side. There's a slow coming down. Buff is still there. Actually will be smited down by Lee Sin. Lee Sin's going to go back down. Are we going to see first blood here? Makata going very, very low. Will the Ignite finish him? Yes, it will. It's Ezreal to pick for the first and a double kill onto Cogmore. Could it have gone any better at the start than getting a double kill onto your AD carry? Getting them double buffs, which he now has, Joe. Yeah. Going to be very strong in that lane. And uh, one thing that was really interesting was Insect actually flashed over Dragon Pit just to get into red buff since he didn't have the ability to get over there. And he wanted to just get it very sneakily. Worked out for them in their favor in that Ezreal. I mean, against a Kog'Maw who doesn't really get strong till 6 plus, going to have a really hard time here. We heard that from the expert desk. Aranea is saying, well, the only way that Meteor Makers should win this is if they have a very strong early game to kind of rocket them through into that later game period where Kog'Maw's obviously going to get strong, but you know, he's gone down here. It's 19 to 8 in the CS. Kog'Maw will be catching up here slightly, but I mean, a BF Sword and a Vamp Scepter 
two wards picked up there as well by Ezreal. Pots coming in as well. So overall, a big item advantage for this laning phase, which is only going to make it harder. Meanwhile, we do have Insect coming into this top lane, but Darius did just go home. And Darius actually, I was expecting him to win that lane a little bit early on since uh, you know, the damage he can put out, the pole he can do against Long Panda with that apprehend, it can really out damage him though. He's leveling up Undertow right now, two points at the moment, trying to uh, just keep up his farm, which he's currently winning at the moment. You see Darius coming back to lane with the Doran shield, which uh, I wish we'd still see that Doran ring, shade, uh, ring shield blade that we keep talking about, Joe, but that's going to help him with that regen and help him against the damage Olaf's putting out. So it will give him that extra armor against that Undertow Makati coming into an invade here. Doesn't really have uh, anything up at the moment. Has those boots, has a health pot and a ward. Maybe just going to ward it up and then back out and take that big wraith. And looks like that's what he's going to do. Yeah, big wraith, the target for him. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Dane and Charu just exchanging a bit of damage. Olaf going to come back in with the fairy charm and a cloth armor as well. And what is the plan for this bottom lane? Now they've got that double buff on. Is it just to bully him out of the lane as much as they possibly can? Obviously, uh, there is harassment coming from both sides of that one with the cues of Ezreal. He's got one point in his W as well, which he will uh, continue to use for that harassment. Lee Sin again coming up into this top lane. There's no ward down by Kuban. They've seen that he's not bought one of those. So we'll see if they can actually get in here to finish things off. Kuban does still have his flash available, though. Should he need it? Insect continues to wait here inside of that brush. He's got to know something's up. Longfan is playing a lot differently right now with the Zolov. And he's just trying to stay behind that mini wave. Like I said, with that flash up, he's going to be able to escape this. Well, here we go. Insect is going to come in there. Are we going to see the flash away from the queue? No, not quite. That did connect, but how do you do the damage? You can't really do enough damage there uh, to Kubon, who, uh, as we said, did pick up that Doran shield right at the start of it. But as things have kind of quietened down now, we can see the CS difference. Actually, Darius does have the lead, but this bottom lane with Space, who got that double kill early on, got the double buff from it as well. He is now a good 10 CS into the lead. Middle lane, 32 to 37. Diana gaining an advantage on that front as well. And we see at the bot lane, Mutual Maker's going to be backing out right now, or trying to, as they are. Nunu finally does go home. However, if Mako did go home as well, they might actually lose that turret. In mid lane, Charu actually having somewhat of a problem here. He's losing quite a bit in CS, but then again, it is a Diana. Kubon in that top lane, trying to bait them missing that apprehend, though. Oh, they're going in on towards Kubon here. Reckless Wing comes down. Here is teleport. the teleport coming in from Katarina, and they're both low. This could be quite disastrous for them, as Lee Sin going to dash away. Makata can't quite get in there to finish things off. And in the uh, meantime, Diana did just go home. They see both of them actually going away here. Insect would actually be going over the top of the water. We see Makla underneath the turret here being harassed by Ezreal Lulu. And they know that Insect is in this bush. But look at Kubon. He's pretty low here. If they manage to land the kill, which they don't quite do, there's the dunk coming down. But it's not going to quite pick up the kill for him. And that will be Insect taking down Kubon in the top lane. That will be 3-0 for CJ Entus. They're approaching a 3,000 uh, 3, gold lead already. And look at this bottom turret. It's below half health. Nunu himself can't really do much to stop this one from happening, except throwing those snowballs out there. Doing as much damage as he can, but he's falling low right underneath his his own turret. We do have Makata on the top side by those uh, big golems, but this turret is all but dead. I mean, this game looking very, uh, well, very bad for Mitch Americans, but we just remember at Intel Extreme Masters Singapore, they were down to, uh, 10 to 2 in one of the semi or one of the final matches against Absolute Legends, end up coming back because they are still a strong team, even if they do lose early on. And uh, I still wouldn't count them out. Having that Cogma late game is just devastating. Having uh, Katarina on top of that and the dunks at Kuban is going to apply a lot of pressure to CGNTS. They're going to lose this turret here very shortly. Oh, Space taking a lot of damage. Actually will get exhausted there. Had to flash away just to keep himself alive. And did put that Ignite down onto Libby, who, as you can see, lost a lot of his health. But crucially, didn't end up dying to give kill number three over towards Ezreal. We currently have Nunu, uh, sorry, Olaf uh, inside of that blue buff area coming down for that, which indicates a dragon attempt in the coming moments from this one. Lee Sin is actually waiting here for Makata as that ward goes down. He's not actually seen Insect there because of his positioning, and he's going to come right in on top of him. Where is the kick going to come down? There is the Q landing. Can he get in behind him to kick him away from the tower? No, not quite. And now Insect might be in trouble himself. There's Katarina hunting him 
coming down. Lulu, uh, Nunu's gonna come in there as well. And Insect has to make a decision. Puts the ward down. Will W away. Q's over on towards Kuban and will be saved by Dida. That was a great reaction play from CJ. That was so good out of Insect right there. I'm actually really surprised he got away. He still had that flash up. Was, actually, no, he ended up using it. Makata trying to go for this blue buff here. But he will get caught by Insect. Oh, they're really coming bad. back in here. Makata gonna be in trouble. Has to flash away, but the Ignite was already running. And Insect will pick up another kill. Uh, and according to our statistics, um, Insect plays more Lee Sin than anything else. So, uh, well, we can expect him. I think as Demon rightly said, any top jungler in the world needs to be good or is just good on Lee Sin uh, at this stage of things. We have seen the uh, AD carry and support lane switching around here, headed up towards that top lane. Space got his phage done, got a Doran's Blade and that Vamp Scepter from earlier on. Compared to double Doran's blade on Cogmon, he's just not going to be able to keep up with that damage that Space can throw his way. Yeah, he just keeps harassing him, as you see. Cogmon keeps trying to run away, but he keeps getting hit with Qs, keeps getting hit with auto attacks, just not able to, to do anything about it. And we both have uh, you know aggressive lanes out of CJ Antis and out of MYM at that top lane, but it, yeah, clearly it's in CJ Antis' favor. That huge CS lead between the Eddie carries is really oh, going to be Diana's devastating. Diana's coming in from the side as well. They're going to go in towards Limit. That's the Ezreal ultimate. Heal coming out of Cockmore. Not going to be enough to save his teammate. Will it be enough to Katarina. save himself though? Maybe not as Katarina comes in there. Double kill. We will see Cockmore go down. Can Diana escape from this one? Nope, not quite. <laughs> Cockmore nope. gets it there. The triple kill in the end. So nice little comeback from Meet Your Makers. Mackler just got three kills and a uh, bonus off of space right there. Yeah. So that just completely set him in the game. And honestly, probably got Mutual Makers back in the game because how do you stop a Cogma late game? They really have, a, well, as a, the expert just was saying, four champions to get in onto him. But I mean, Mackler, we saw uh, when he's playing Vayne, his micro was amazing. He has the ability to uh, position himself correctly. And uh, Charu, great job out of him to be aware and actually head up towards that top lane and turn that around into a good trade for them. We do have Insect, though, getting caught by Livic. Has no flash, but has that kick to go get away if need be. Oh, and he's actually going to get the uh, ulti off onto him there. With that Blood Boil, actually runs in, kicked away by Insect. So good job from Libic to force that ultimate coming out there of Insect. I'm going to force him, though. He's just going to go off, uh, do the Wraith, which obviously are not completely uh, full in there. I'd say he did a use his smite of the big Wraith down. That's why it wasn't stalling out earlier on. Uh, we did see Long Panda actually uh, taking the big Golem away earlier as well on this bottom side. 69 to 59 is the difference between... Darius and Olaf, and it looks like Meet Your Maker is going to be going in for the first dragon of the game. 11 minutes 20 into it. Cogmore is obviously now level 6, and that will be dragon taken pretty easily. Ezreal Ulti does come across, which catches Kubon. Long Panda might try and uh, just push in for a little bit of an advantage. That one, if he can land an axe to get the slow onto him, which, well, he misses in the end. <laughs> yeah, it's a very much new dragon for Mutual Makers. As you now see the AD carrying support in the mid lane because they're losing turrets everywhere on the map. We still have Olaf pushing that bottom as they got that bottom turret when they did switch. Ezreal and uh, Lulu in the top lane still being very aggressive and they're just trying to keep Mutual Makers from being able to farm, being able to pick up these kills. I mean, Charo has three assists now, has that haunting guys compared to Diana, his counterpart has a Negatron cloak. So he's going to have a really tough time killing Diana, not to mention the CC that they can put out on top of her. Or him. I always get confused when they play a female champion, Joe. Yeah. Technically a her since it's Diana, but he's a guy, so. Uh, but either way, we have 18.1 to 14.6 thousand gold here in favor of CJ Enter. So a healthy gold lead just 12 minutes into the match. I mean, if you factor in uh, that dragon as well, that would have been uh, quite dangerous uh, for Meet Your Makers if they'd have lost out on that dragon. You can see already the damage that... Oh, top lane Joe Insect coming in on to uh, Mackler. Yeah, he should be able to take him down here. They are both level 8, and let's see what Mackley can do to uh, try and escape from this one. He is going to get hit here with the Q at close range. Let's see what Insect can do. Actually, will kick him there towards the wall. And here comes the teleport from Charu, and it may be enough to save him here. Has got that ward down to dash to, and he will dash away from it. Meanwhile, Libic here taking damage in that middle jungle area, and they throw a pink ward down. And CJ can't quite follow up on it. Olaf did go low as well at some point. I didn't even realize uh, where that was around the map, but he's gone back now and is safe. And we will stay at 6-3, but over a 3,000 gold lead still for CJ. You know, during their interviews with Makati we've been doing after these games, they, they said they like to play what they enjoy, what they're comfortable with. And yet, it just seems like the play style CJ is putting up against them is making them really uncomfortable. They're not really used to it. They're having a hard time adjusting to it. Gold lead really showing that. That dragon obviously helping out, but... Two turrets to zero. Not used to seeing Mutual Makers fall behind in turrets since they're so aggressive early on. And 
just in items. They're they're pretty far behind. We see two GP10 out of Makati. We see two out of Olaf going for Estrellas, which Joe, you're a big fan of seeing as a first item, or if not a second one for him. And then Darius in that bottom lane finally has that phage and Ninja Tavius looks like he will be going for that Trinity Force as his first major buy. Yeah, I mean, Shirelle, is, it's not like you need to rush into it, but the fact that it gives you that health, uh, the cooldown reduction in there, plus the 40% movement speed yeah, on top of his for, ghost. Uh, for three seconds. Uh, on top of your ghost with the ultimate running. It's a great item overall uh, for everything that really uh, all that needs to be on. to see space getting pulled in here. Was stunned up by Makata, but uses his flash to get away from that one. Arcane shifted as well, and he will stay safe again. Meanwhile, Olaf just stealing away that big golem once again on the bottom side. Got double GP10 build up now with the Philosopher's Stone and that Heart of Gold. Rested Soul. They haven't really been <laughs> Rested Soul. They haven't really been punishing Long Panda and at this bottom lane. Darius has been there, you know, to try to defend him or defend against him. But look at him. He's still pushed up. He has pretty much no ward coverage down there. He's been taking the big goal uh, as much as possible. See Makate oh. blues and gets stolen. Oh, it was Ezreal's ultimate. I actually stole it there in the end. An insect gonna follow in to take out Makata. But here we go. Kubon and Limic in the jungle. Charu coming in from around the side. Where are these kills gonna come down? It's insect that dies. There is a dunk. Doesn't get the kill though, but it will be finished off in the end. There is Lee Sin going down, and this Cockmore doing massive damage at the back of everything. They're gonna take out space, but can Makla get away? Kinch will die as well. Makla going very, oh. very low here to Long Panda. Kuban can't quite keep him away. Will apprehend him here. There is the ulti going down, and that is a quadra kill for Makla. And if he wasn't already a good start, then he got the triple early enough. There's another four on top of it. And, and an ace. Yeah, as they said. On the expert desk, they need to have a good early game. It's not technically still early games. They've had a bit of lanes, which just towers are down, but it's a it's down close, you know, from Michael's point of view here. Going 7-2-0 up. And uh, well, he's in a strong position, but again, he's you know, seven kills, one then over with Darius. He's, he becomes an easy target. The question is whether Meet Your Makers can protect him. Yeah, I mean, that was so well played by Matrix because Cubone actually used his ultimate just to get someone low enough to get Charu that reset when he you know, just completely went off of him onto the next target and onto the next after that. And uh, their combo, I mean, of Darius and of uh, Charu. Oh, so you see Dan going in. They get someone low, they can either dunk them and get Katarina reset or just Katarina oh, kill. Oh, Cubone getting kicked out though here in the middle. He is going to be going down eventually. There we go, finally. <laughs> and now they are going to try and pressure this middle outer turret. That'll be the final turret still up for Meet Your Makers on the outer ring. And once again, they managed to hold on to it. Kinch actually uh, is going to be putting that pink ward down just to get rid of that ward in that river bush. He obviously picked up one kill in that last fight, which is why he actually has that blue buff on now as well. You know, Joe, we talk about kill spread, and we've seen, you know, uh, Macro playing Vayne. He had all the kills on the team until a certain point where he started trickling in for Charu. But, I mean, he has seven kills here. Can a Cogma really carry the game without getting uh, kills for the rest of his teammates? Well, like if, I said... If they can protect him. Yeah, if they can protect him. Uh, that's the real problem for this one. I mean, if you've not got anything on Katarina to start that snowball into motion, um, then you could be in, in danger. The good thing is that they've got two resets on their team, yeah. so yeah. they still have a lot of damage to come out, even when, uh, you know, Makla's at the back. Uh, but you know, Arne said the same thing, that how do you stop Diana and Olaf and, and Lee Sin, for that matter, running straight through your front line and <laughs> off towards your Kog'Maw at the back. You don't really. That's the thing. But then again, I mean, Kog'Maw, with how Fetty's getting right now, he can afford to take at least one of these guys on head-to-head. -head. But, I mean, that's definitely right. If they do get in his face, they're going to have a hard time. Lubick can slow him with that ultimate. Um, Akali can just run around stunning <laughs> as many of them as possible. But in the end, if, uh, you know, Charu and uh, Cuban don't get a kill or two, they're, they're not going to win these fights. They need to get someone, though. They have to get a kill, and they have to get those resets going. So let's take a look down the items. Olaf did end up going straight in towards that Shirelius. Heart of Gold and the Chain Vest with Ninja Tab is on top of it. Lee Sin, Aegis, Brutalizer, Boots of Mobility for Diana. Moving up towards that Abyssal Scepter, already got the Sorcerer Shoes. Ezreal actually a bit in between. He went for the Phage first, but then picked up that BF Sword afterwards. And we are going to see them coming down now on towards Makla's position. The Ezreal Ultimate not actually hitting Makla. And they made look to turn this one around. There's Katarina getting into the middle. Lulu Ultimate will actually knock him out of that, but Daddy is going to be in there. Makla is still alive. He's godlike now after picking up another kill in that one. Insect now going to be trying to run away around the backside. I mean, that was another two for zero for uh, Meet Your Makers. And these fights are just all going their way. There's a kill coming down for Udio as well, which always helps out. Dragon is available. Let's see if Insect can get the steal. 
Mackler, and that actually, I'll say this is after this after this happens. But does he really need to go for it? That's the real question. Here we go. Goes in after the steel wow. as well onto the dragon. Nicely done. Here comes uh, the Ezreal around the side, but well, Insect is gonna go down. And it is Makata that will pick that one up in the end as well. And that last major team fight, if you uh, looked at Makler, which I hope the uh, experts desk go to, his positioning, he dodged an undertow at Olaf and stayed out of range of them so uh, so well. I, I've not seen positioning like this in a really long time. Really well played by him. And they got the resets. I mean, yeah, we were saying before, Charu and Kubon, not really any kills. Um, but as long as they get those resets, as long as they keep doing damage while Makler's pretty much being, uh, well, Kaiju and the rest of the team, they're still going to win these fights. I mean, we need to see, uh, sorry, our Randuin's coming out of uh, Long Panda here. They, they need to slow his attack speed on the Kaba. With that Nunu, with that Phantom Nets as his first item, it's causing a lot of problems. Yeah. I'm sure that they're uh, going to end up going that way anyway. Oh, Glacial no, Shroud. Glacial Shroud, I guess. Kind of works as well. Yep. It's a lot of cooldown reduction for Olaf. Now space going to be clearing out. CS in his favor. Kills not quite, even after that brilliant start of the double kill at the start. And now they are trying to hunt down Diana. Can they get in on her? There is Char. We're going to get Dove on here by Dade, who's just trying to find a better path out than going straight through his own turrets. But he's in the Meteor Maker's jungle now. And they're just going to say, well, you just run away. You go that way. We're going to be trying here to take down your outer turret on the bottom as Makata here underneath his own turret. Maybe in a bit of trouble. Lee Sin and Olaf and then Diana coming in. That is going to be a kill for Diana. Meanwhile, Kogmo is hammering away on this turret. They've lost their inner turret in the middle lane, though. And CJ, knowing that uh, Kogmo is there, may try to get an inner turret as well. They may even try and jump in on towards Kubon. Charu, though, coming in may just be enough to drop him back. Yeah, nope, that's too, not quick enough. Those are two turrets you don't want to lose, Joe. I know that's like a big, a big thing for you. Um, that's a lot of control that Meech Makers is not going to have. We haven't seen an Oracle coming out of either team just yet. Actually, sorry, we do see one on uh, on Lulu, but none out of uh, Meteor Makers, and that's a huge problem. I mean, versus CLG, we saw the ward coverage of Meteor Makers. Um, it was amazing. They were able to catch CLG off guard. We do have them trying to chase some down here or see if they are going for that Baron. But they obviously are not. Yeah, they've all backed away here. Meteor Makers still, I guess, not going to be 100% sure as to uh, if every single one of them has backed off. As you said, Oracle over with Lulu, which uh, may see Nunu pick him one up, or not. Or he will. Yes, he is. He went back <laughs> for it. Uh, I was going to say, as soon as they noticed that Kinch had that one, then it makes sense that they would uh, even back away just to get that one in anyway, just to stop that advantage becoming too big in the vision. It's Kuvon that's actually carrying all the wards right now for Meet Your Makers, carrying uh, four at this point. Frozen Heart is now finished for Olaf as well. Phage and the Infinity Edge now done for Ezreal. But Infinity Edge is not too far away from being complete on Cogmore's side either. Yeah, and when he gets that, that's when they're exactly going to want to fight. He's going to have the damage they need to really get people low and really allow those resets. Like can see the entire game, and it gets kind of repetitive, but that's exactly the kind of strategy Mutual Makers is going for. Do have Makati. He's level 10 compared to Insect, who's level 12 at the moment. Kind of a, a little bit of a problem, but with the Shirelias, I mean, kind of a supporty build going to be helping his team out as long as he can land those stuns. And Ezreal not going for any poke, just going for that straight assassination team that they are uh, currently have lined up with that Infinity's Edge, like you were mentioning. And we do see Lulu actually boots some ability on Lulu. Has three GP10 on top of it just to keep those wards incoming, not to mention the Oracles. Yeah, why not? The, the faster that she can get around the map and get rid of those Oracles, the better it's going to be. Overall, for CJ enters. Dragon coming up 24-41. Still, still a couple of minutes for that one to come into play. The Q from Lee Sin will land on Kubon. It doesn't look like they're going to uh, be backing this one up just yet. We're going to have all 10 players in this middle lane. Jockey in four position. Do CJ want to get into a fight? Maybe after they've chipped enough health down. They also, looking down, have... Ignites up across the board, flashes. In fact, all the summoner spells right now are available for use on the CJ side. But the same is in play for Meet Your Makers as well. Ultimates already. We'll see if they do end up going for any kind of fight in this one. 35.3 to 31.2 thousand gold, so healthy 4k lead. Two turrets in there. But will CJ be feeling that advantage? Because you know, when the kills are tied at 
you don't always know for sure you know, how far ahead you're going to be in gold. You've got to keep an eye on those items um, to figure out exactly when you're going to be fighting. Maybe they'll want to do it before Cockmore gets that Infinity Edge finished. Yeah, but we do have Charo, though. He has that full penetration builder now building into that GA next. And that's pretty much this, what three core items is that uh, Honey Guys, Abyss Scepter, and that GA. It's going to be really uh, causing a lot of problems for them. But yeah, that's a good point. They need to engage before Macro gets that Infinity Edge because when that happens, he's completely outshine space and that, that will be a huge uh huge problem for cj Antis. though i mean log panda and uh Dottie, if they can get in his face uh, especially if that diana if they get to get if they get in there together they're just going to destroy mackler and that pretty much is all their hopes that mitra makers has well looks like they're going to go for a bit of time clearing wards out here over towards baron kinch has his one here in the back which just times out timed it to perfection to come in there nunu going to come in the back though and they'll get rid of that one straight away can't imagine that MYM would want to right now be starting off Baron, though. Oh, they might try to go for Insect here. No, so they don't. Wow. That was pretty nice play for him. Just going <laughs> to go WA on towards that ward and then walk straight through the middle lane. However, Dragon is now up for Meet Your Makers. This is just that one step closer to bringing them back level in the gold totals. Going to go down without any challenge whatsoever from CJ. Lee Sin a bit pushed up in this uh, middle lane. He can always go out that top side of the jungle if he needs to. Or he could face check into all the bushes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Obviously not. They were stood on top of a ward there, just clearing that one out. Oh, there it is, Joe. We do see that Infinity Edge finished up to Macro now. That dragon definitely helping out right there. And this is where the fight should happen. And each Makers and CJ Genesis, both of them being very hesitant to engage on each other. As it looks like each Makers might. Nope. I thought they were going to get caught off guard here. Charia even might get caught. As they do go for the engage. Yeah, Insect coming in from behind. He's actually going to kick him against the wall, but flash used by Charu. Caught in, let coming get in. him away. Now Makata coming around. Charu is back in the fight. Can they stop them getting away? There is the stun coming down onto Insect. Here comes Livic. Actually will get the snowball off onto space, and they're going for the AD carrier. Not messing around. There's the ultimate coming out of Nunu. Uh, wow, Lulu was ultimate. Actually moved Ezreal's Long. position there. Long so that his ulti pretty much didn't come in. Long Panda oh. does come in with Ghost running. But what's he going to do? One versus five. Run away was the best choice for him in that <laughs> scenario. Blue buff is up and available for the taking with Meat Makers who now have that kill lead. Yeah, but that CS difference between 80 carries is quite surprising. Uh, actually, well, not that surprising considering we did see Space get those two kills early on, but 50 CS quite a bit. And, I mean, Darius even losing his lane. Char is the only one currently winning his lane with that 207 to 188. With Diana getting really close to a uh, Zonia's at the moment. So see Char working into that GA has almost has the gold he needs. It's about 200 short, and we have double Shirelias, Joe, from Mutual Makers. Yeah, you're Shirelias. a happy man. I do like me a double Shirelias, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it can be a valuable thing, especially when you want to get away from an Olaf. He's yeah. got Ghost and that Shirelias in the team as well, or chase an Olaf, which may be <laughs> the other option uh, that ends up happening. But a solid. I mean, it's, it's that time in the game where neither team really wants to be making a, a wrong move or engaging on anything but their own terms. I mean, ward trading, it's pretty much all that goes on at this stage. Jockeying for position oh, in there, we are going to see Kinch in a little bit of trouble here, but he's got the rest of his team for backup. And in the end, we don't push in afterwards. But you can see how uh, kind of on a knife edge this game is now. Balance just teetering. It's really a battle of the words right now. It's who can have most yep. on them and keep this vision long enough. And, uh, you know, both words can be backing up quite often. We do see a lot of words still on CJ Antis and quite a bit for Amakati right now. They really don't want to give up this uh, jungle control. As you see, Macro going to pick up his red buff here. Double buff Kog'Maw. If he's such fan dancer, he's very scary. Sitting there at that 1.6 attack speed without that blood boil. And with it, two. Just two. Yeah. He is uh, hitting fast and hard, that's for sure. As uh, Livic just walking over the top of a ward there. Going to get that one finished. We do have a Guardian Angel now with Charu. Which we saw in that last game. I think eight eight Guardian Angels by the end of it. Six, something seven, ridiculous. something Six, like seven, that. Yeah. It was a lot anyway. In the CJ Enters versus CLG game. But look at this. They've got rid of the ward. Meet Your Maker's going to start things off. Olaf's at the bottom. He's got no teleport. This is going to be a 4v5 fight if CJ decides to take it. Q goes in there from Lee Sin. They've got wards in there. They've got vision. But when are they going to jump in there? Insect does have his smite available. Meet Your Maker's actually backing off here somewhat. Insect will dive out of the pit again. 
and they decide, okay, let's stop doing Baron. That's not going to bring us anything at this stage. CJ quite happy with their uh, job being done from that. There's a lot of gold for Kinch actually in that area as he just runs over the top of Ward. Uh, but he's going to have a good time clearing out there. Probably get himself about 200 gold by the time he's finished off uh, finishing off all those wards in and around Baron. Smart play by Mutual Makers to actually back out of there because they saw Insects two levels higher uh, yeah. than Makati is at the moment. And he already stole Dragon away. If he steals that Baron away, it's just sealing your fate into a loss here. But yeah, a lot of wards still around. We still have, I believe, that Oracle. Yep, on Kench still. And, and miss this one. <laughs> uh, if this was a drinking game, Joe, like the one for uh, IPL. <laughs> oh, they are. Wait, they're still. Actually, oh. wait. They can't see that ward. They cannot see that ward, but they are spotted by it right now. In that Baron pit. Oh, here there it go. is. And Apprehend comes out. We are seeing Australia's popping. Living going very, very low, but guys, ulti channeling Daddy. Going low as well. Lulu is actually in there. There's a kill for Cogmo, but they've already lost two. Makla now going to be focused down. Panda will die as well. Finally, Makla oh actually dies. Well, look at the damage. Here comes that, uh, Cogmo in there as well. And Insect now going to try and get away. Stun came down. He's going to dash off towards Lulu. Where's the slow? There Six it is. Makata not oh. going to get in. And Charu not getting over the top either to chase them down. So, a three for three. Still really, really close in these team fights. Unbelievably close. Yeah, they had to pop that exhaust on a charge just to keep him from resetting so often. He had his GA popped up there. He had his flash up in about five seconds. Could have hopped over that Baron wall and potentially sealed the deal right there, picking up an ace. But still, yeah, very close. Uh, Cubone died very early there. We saw uh, Mackler actually get dove on straight by uh, Insect. Kicked him out and was just sticking to him like glue the rest of that fight. And it really caused him so many problems that he couldn't really DPS too much. So all that damage really just came out from Cubone and Charu. So Warden's mail picked up there by Olaf. And, and as you talked slow. about that, Andu uh, Randuin's yeah. earlier on. Along with the Frozen Heart as well. <laughs> nice. Nice touch from Olaf. Now also got the Negatron Cloak in there as well. And what else do we have being finished? Aegis was done um, a little bit earlier on there by Udia. We have Trinity Force finished for... Ooh, Charu is actually teleporting now. Where is he off to? And he's coming down into this bottom lane where Dade may get caught out here. Here we go then. Charu going to go right into him. Dade is pretty damn tanky still though. That could be dangerous there as Lyric flashes away from the ulti. Here comes Cogmo from the back. But well, we've got Charu using his ulti in there. Here comes the Apprehend. There is the kill from Charu. That gives him the ability to Shumpo further in. But they decide against it in the end. They're happy with that one single kill onto Dade. What is their next move? Ward's being cleared out. Blue buff's going to go down. A dragon is available for the taking if they want it. What well, Meteor Makers may just settle for that inner turret here on this bottom lane. However, top lane, Olaf pushing his way straight through there. Let's go to this top lane as we see Mackler actually here just zoning them out with that range. You can see how fast he's uh, auto attacking now. Going to be moving up into walls. Oh, Char, we're going to head against Long Panda oh, here. Wow. That's uh, an interesting move. I didn't really expect him to do that, but he is going to go for it. Charu here will get his queue off. There is the Shumpo. Not quite got the finisher, there but the red buff. Red buff finisher. Uh, nicely done. There is Dragon going down for MYM as well. And things are starting to fall into place. You know, these Kogmo's only getting stronger. Yeah, and Charu is playing so well right now. Cuban actually, he's giving up a lot of kills, surprisingly, over to Charu. I mean, he could have dunked uh, on that kill in the bottom lane. Instead, he just let Charu get it. You can hear them behind us doing a lot of arguing, trying to uh, really secure this win. Because like we said before, you know, the winner of this moves on to play SK Telecom, and the loser plays Fnatic. Yeah. And I'm, I kind of want Meet Your Makers to win this one just so we have a... Europe versus Korea right, in right. both semi-finals, which means we could still have uh, an all-European final or an all-Korean final. Uh, so, you know, it keeps it kind of balanced in that respect. Uh, but still, this is an incredible game once again. Maybe a little bit less pressure from on both teams because they are yeah, already through to that semi-final stage. And at the end of the day, you have to beat everyone anyway in a, <laughs> uh, a four-team bracket. So, we'll have to see. Well, at least, I mean, this is the point where he starts to fall off. He's not really, I mean, he's known as not being a really strong late game champion. He doesn't have a last whisper, just still with that Brutalizer. But it's his uh, mobility and it's that ultimate that's really setting up his team, trying to get uh, Mackler out of position by kicking him into his own team. Though we are having a five man push, actually, CJ Antis on this mid lane. And currently, Mitchmaker is not really in a position to defend it. Yep. Antis pushing their way in. Can they finish off the turret, though? I mean, with that Cogmore ultimate hammering away and 
Not the easiest thing to be pushing down, especially when he's got a blue buff on as well. He's level 17, Joe, and actually has a Last Whisper on top of that. He's, yeah. a, he's the highest uh, level in the game as well as Dade. Well, Charu 18, but he's a, as the highest level on CJ Entis. And uh, Ezreal sitting at 15, doesn't have that level 3 ultimate just yet. But with that Oracle, they are clearing out all the wards over towards Baron and Mutri Makers. They have to do something about this. Two Shirelis, they have six wards on them currently. And do they still have it? Yeah, they have the Oracle still on Libic at the moment. What's the plan here then for CJ? Are they going to set a trap? They see Ezreal top right yeah, now. Yeah, Ezreal's top, so they know that they can uh, go in there in a four versus five. But again, afraid to make that one false step that could end it all. 34 minutes into this one. I like how both teams just pinged. Um, we saw CJ just ping top ping top because it's pushing, and we saw Mitri Makers ping bottom because it's pushing, but they do get the slow on the insect mid lane. Are they going to commit to it though, Joe? Nah, you can't on Lee Sin. It's not worth it. It's too slippery. <laughs> but they may end up getting into a bit of a fight here around that dragon, uh, around that Baron. So Actually, Baron comes over. Yeah, they started the Baron there, which was uh, kind of ballsy stuff, to be honest. They're just going to lose health from that. There's not a chance of them taking it down with just two. Katarina going to the bottom. Doesn't have teleport up now, though. So that's a bit of a dangerous move from Meet Your Maker's side of things. And have CJ Enters time this one. And just think that they will have totally timed it. <laughs> like, they're gonna know when this Katarina can and can't teleport back in. And there we go, they're gonna start off this Baron. Katarina got the long walk up there now, but is this Cogmore's range enough to stop CJ Enters doing this one? Here comes Libix Ultimate, not doing a ton of damage. Ezreal will ulti out as well. Makati coming in. Finally, Charu is gonna come in from the side. There is the Lulu Ultimate. Charu is gonna get exhausted, and Makla will take down Long Panda. Now they're in on towards Dade, who will pop the Zonyas. Kubon going. Low will be picked off by space on Ezreal, but where are the next moves coming in? Two men dead for either side. Flash has been popped all over the place, but Charu isn't finished just yet. Let's have a look at his cooldowns. He goes in there, gets there himself the one, resets. gets himself two. Yay for resets. Double <laughs> kill for Charu. And Meet Your Makers now may well do a three-man Baron. However, Insec is not done just yet. He's coming around this side. Actually, Charu's hunting him to try and stop him coming in here. He hasn't even spotted by a ward just yet. Oh, this could be very, very dangerous. Let's see, there's the Q going over. He's going to come in there, but he doesn't get the steal. And there is another kill for Makla coming down. He is 11-3-5. It's an ace in the end for Meet Your Makers. They get Byron. Nice play from the Poles. <laughs> Mackler again in that fight. He was being chased by an uh, insect. We saw him chased, actually, sorry, he's chased by Long Panda and by Dottie right there. And just by his attack moving and uh, with his help from Akati right there, picked up the he picked up the kills, didn't even die. It was so well played. And Charu, even though he was so far down in that bottom line, teleport wasn't up, came in and still helped pick up the ace. And that was very well played. Mitri Baker's going to go back, buy a lot of items. We do see currently almost a GA fully bought out for Kogma. And uh, for Darius, going for a chain vest. See the Randwins. Uh, on the way to being done, that Warren's mouth for Makade. And a GA done for space as well. So, gonna have another long game with GA's Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think we're gonna hit six, but still. Well, who knows? I mean, it's not that big of a difference. Look at the gold overall 53.6 to 52.9. That is ridiculously close. And now most of that coming from those turrets, uh, if you look at the CS, 227 to 161 uh, in that top lane, more in the jungle for CJ. Only the middle lane actually is uh, currently less CS than uh, what the rest of the team has. I was just going to say, I wonder how much damage this Edry Lull team is going to do. Not a huge amount. And they've lost that inner turret for the pleasure. Libic just walking over a ward. I guess one of his teammates saying, wait a minute, there's a ward in there. Make sure you get that one away. Red buff stolen out for Mackler as well. And now Libic is going to get rid of another oh, no. ward. CJ Enters actually coming down middle here. They're going to force MYN to come in from behind them. There is the Shirelia's pop. And there is the second Shirelia's pop. They can't quite get in there to get these kills. Q coming out of Lee Sin will land onto Cubon. Yeah, that Glitter lands and that ultimate out of Insect is just pretty much yeah. their perfect disengage. Not to mention the Undertow out of Long Panda and the uh, Phage procs out of space, but they still, they really want to go for it. They have them caught off guard. Wow. They're going to have to back out, and they're just going to face tank this inhibitor turret and force uh, CJ Antis to come back. Yeah, they're going to force a fight with this one. Charu is now joining in the team. Turret is going to go down before they can get involved. 
And they have to keep pushing in there as we are going to be seeing Dade going into the middle of Mikons, the Nuna ultimate. Makla going to get kicked away. There is the Don Kuwan taking down Diana. And actually, uh, Long Panda is going low as well. Insect will dash away to him for cover, but Katarina gets on top of him. Kill comes down in this the end be for game, Makata. Joe. And that is three men down. Will this be game? Inhibitor is going to fall. Makata is healthy enough. Kub uh, Kuwan and Libic are all healthy enough. Well, are they going to go? for those Nexus turrets. We do have the minions coming in there. There's the Ezreal ultimate to, well, get rid of the minions after all. And now they focus in here. Long Panda going to be the one coming under fire. As another Shirelius gets popped. Long Panda is surely going to die here right before the fountain. He's pulled back in by Kubot. First Nexus turret goes down. Slow comes in onto space. That's going to buy enough time for the second Nexus turret. They can do this one. Space hasn't got enough to kill all of them in such a short space of time. And Meet Your Makers got a 3-0 Group B here at the Intellect Team Masters Cologne. Brilliant day of work from their point of view. They'll top the group. They'll play SK Telecom T1 tomorrow. And it will be CJ Enters versus Fnatic in the other semi-final. As I said, great day at the office from Meet Your Makers. They played brilliantly in all three games that we've seen them. Yeah, I know you and Demon actually have to be really happy since you've been coming for such a long time to see them finally, you know, get their dues here. And they look, they honestly look really thrilled and probably a little bit tired after playing four games, actually sorry, three games today. And uh, now they have to do their research, which I know they have been doing. They were here on day one. They were doing as much research as possible um, to go up against SK Telecom. Hopefully they don't party too hard that night as we see Char right Pretty there. Pretty sure they'll be going to bed straight away. <laughs> Char is stretching out his back there uh, with that Katarina. Yeah, he was 6 one 16 and we saw Macro 11 4 7 but with that ultimates, with that GA, he was able to pretty much force um, all of CJ engines to go for Kog'Maw. Because of that, you had a Cubone on Darius, and you had a, a Katarina on Char, or Char on a Katarina to just do free reign of damage. Yeah, and that was it. You know, the, you knew that they were going to be going in on towards Makla the entire time. And as long as he got those resets in there, as long as he yeah. got those assists when the others were dying, that's really fine uh, from their point of view. You can keep that sustained damage going out. Uh, but Minion Makers, as you said, going to go through to the semi-final. They'll be extremely happy with that one. Let's not forget they won our last Intel Extreme Masters event over in Singapore. Um, and this is a real big chance for them now. They've got top four in this event. Yeah. You never want to finish fourth in an event because no one remembers anything <laughs> outside the top three for most events anyway. So uh, you want to have that top three. You can see just how happy they are. Again, Makler playing the top of his game, playing the top of his game. I mean, we've seen him in all three matches today, playing brilliantly, that vein performance earlier on. Here with Kogba, you know, we talk about Vayne being micro-intensive, but the way that Makla was moving Kog'Maw yeah, in those fights was well. absolutely brilliant. Keeping an eye on his position the whole time, making sure that damage kept up while he was trying to avoid, uh, you know, the Olaf, the Lee Sin, the Dianas that kept diving in on towards him. Uh, so just overall, a great day of work from uh, Meet Your Makers. And the funny thing is, that Meet Your Makers, they're already, they're already qualified for CBIT through uh, Intellectual yeah. Master Singapore, so they're playing for the glory, they're playing for the fame, because honestly, after playing this long together, pretty much a year, um, with these five, they want to be known you know it's 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 about time for them to finally be uh, getting their name out there well let's not forget they're also qualified for the intel extreme masters katowice yes they are uh, because they actually are the polish champions there so uh, they get that slot through into uh, katowice the polish event and uh, that's actually going to be it from me and jason today thank you very much for tuning in hope you enjoyed the uh, awesome games that we've had especially yeah, these very. last two were uh, really spot on <laughs> uh, even the games that were you know what you might call stumps were actually really really entertaining to watch yep. because of the fact that those was so much individual skill and teamwork involved in those. We're going to throw it over to the expert desk for, lot, uh, for one last time. They're going to break down that final game between CJ Enters and Meet Your Makers. Well, there we go. This is a man right here. He's going to go hug Makla. Yes. Because he said if Makla manages to carry this, then I'm going to have to go give him a big hug. Yeah, and I heard, I heard Paul is hate people <laughs> also so probably I, i'm gonna i'm gonna come back with with that uh, with because yeah, they're all big blood, guys <laughs> blood eye or something oh uh, also uh, where's my honor dude where's my honor, oh, honor? we didn't have honor <laughs> we yeah, bet, yeah, we yeah, bet for the honor. didn't have honor <laughs> mim took it yeah, well it was, it what was a game quite what a game. impressive yeah game it was amazingly played now was game. that was that a throne or just a really well played game i will say there was some kind of misplaced by cg enters uh, there was some some kind of like misposition, like pushing alone, and they get like three guys from Mim killing them, and mm -hmm. then it was yeah, probably 
a comeback from from that Mackler, that Mackler with with Kogma with Star. I think with a triple, a quadra. Zero, uh, exactly. <laughs> it was. It was the first triple kill. I think it was one of the guys with the passive and two guys almost dying, and he was like like with the ultimate killing them. Well, let's, let's show them. Really let's nice. let's, let's show go through it. We got first so many all, replays first of all, for you guys. We're gonna watch what Insect did at level two. This is amazing. They knew they had Ward in in the right and in the in the bottom side, and he flashed in Drake to get the red buff, and still they get countered. They came for it, but we have to remember that Kogmao didn't have flash because he used it at level one. So at this point, Nunu has no exhaust, Kogmao has no flash, and they keep fighting. And it's a 4v4. And, and he... it ends quite bad for MYM, giving a double kill for a space with Ethereal and giving a double off for him. Here we have how Ethereal kills uh, Uyudi with the Ignite and kills Kogma without a dax. And start really well for CG enters, but surely they, they they fall. Where they, was Mackler going with that passive? It was he was still still trying to escape. <laughs> I yes. just realised he came running off down the bottom. I was like, where are you going, son? It happens. Then we have, we have dead, dead. another really nice place by our friend Insek. He played amazing. Even the the team lost, he played really good. Here we have the the master <laughs> of the Dukes. Did you, you want to say who called it that this was going to be an interesting? This was Demon. No. Demon, oh, shut up. Really <laughs> nice call over here. He was like, Ara, Dude, Ara, right no. the, 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 the minute. Here we have. He was like waiting for Udi. He was perfectly at that corner waiting for Udi, and here we come. He started attacking him, and all meme team came here. I mean, Katarina was coming, Dari was coming, and I don't really know how he escaped. Because even Nunu was coming now. And here we have the place. He put a ward, he jumped on the ward, he kicked on Darius, he jumped on Darius and flashed away before the Amazing. <laughs> yes. Perfectly played by Insect. Amazing play. Uh, and proving why a lot of the Koreans, even if the Koreans say he's the best Lee Sin, you generally gotta listen because also, he gets banned against them all the time. Also proving why Demon says always ban Lee Sin. Always ban Lee Sin because he's a bad MF. <laughs> <laughs> next time something. Yes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, 950 is the next one, and this is really the beginning of the fight. Of the pack. comeback. This it is was, the comeback. Even that the goal was always an adventure for CG Andrews, you don't want to really fed a Kokmao. Like, if you fed a Kokmao early, you're really gonna have a problem in late game. And this was the first initiation of the, of the feeding time. <laughs> we see a, a dive, we see Diana coming from back of the tower. And we see that in and really bad for them. And, and the they, let, they let Mackler be hidden. He was killing the support. He killed the support with the help of Katarina. And there we go. With the ultimate, he kills Ezreal. And with his passive, he kills Diana. And I think even Katarina let him the kill. I, I'm not sure. I, I will ask Saru about that. But triple kill for Kogmao, that's something you really don't want to see. But it's not the only triple kill he got. It's not the he worst, got even, most of all. Even a hard. And then 1450, we're back again. And they just kept on giving Makla everything. You know, after such a 2 0 start, a perfect lane start, perfect great start, you just kept giving things back. This moment, Insect playing amazing. He came back and, and he gave one, but this is the point that I was, I was really thinking okay, M MYM is gonna win this game, because you cannot let this happen. It's one kill for Kokmao, and I sat down. Another kill and, for Kogmao. Another back. kill for Kogmao. I don't know why Lulu come back. And then th this was a kind of fail, but he has he has heal, so it's fine. And they kill Olaf. Quadra kill for Kogmao. Wow. That's really hard. I mean, that's 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 immediately that's, that's put him at seven two. I think he was seven two zero by that time. At that point, he was um, seven two. Yeah. We just want to show a little bit of skill uh, moment. It was eighteen forty actually. It was the dragon steal that Insect did. Oh, uh, I mean, yes. it, it, it was worth it. Beautiful. It was worth it. You, it's one of those things. You, was it worth it? Well, it is. Yeah, it is. It's one K for the team and only three, four, probably four hundred for the enemy because it's three hundred for the kill and like I think it's one hundred fifty for the for the assist. He almost survived. I think. Like Nunu were really fast on the on the snowball, but yeah. Yeah, I think so he realized like 300 and, and 100. And the thing is, if actually, is fine. if if it had had a ward, maybe he could have got away a little bit more. He would have walked away, maybe got caught, apprehended. I don't know. Um, the dragon next up was a, was a big fight. Actually, it was a three v three, Baron. It's twenty nine twenty. 
basically it was a Baron fight. Um, they did manage to get the GA down of Sharu, but they just couldn't focus the damage by that point. But at this point, we thought MYM were already too strong in the team fights. So. Uh, there we have the team fight. It's a normally 5-5. Five -five. They were waiting, but Dari Darius just got someone from the from the dragon. It was really amazing, and there we have the team fight. It was equal team fight, but still Mackler gets some kills. Mackler get Diana there, and I think he gets someone with a passive. Yeah, Not, he, he didn't get nope. someone with a passive. But I still no, Sharu got it just before yeah, his GA box. Yeah. And then actually, it, they, he tried to cut him off through the uh, the dragon pit, but he couldn't look at quite this, get to look it. Look at it. This is the cooldown of the flash currently. So close. Yeah. So close. He could so well close. have got in there and got the ace and maybe turned things around. I don't think that I got the Baron Moby. Uh, but they, yeah, I mean, that was kind of the start. If we move on to 35 minutes, well, we've got a lot of the last two to go already at this time. MWI and M -M we're, we're just too strong in the team fights, we thought. And once they go for the, the Baron fight, it's really, it was MWI -M all, all, well, all the way. Yeah. So this probably, I, I would say this was the last team fight where uh, it was completely domination by, by MYM because Mackler was perfectly positioned. Like no one was hitting Mackler. In this team fight we saw Diana, but still was, well, wasn't enough to kill him. And it was probably the first Diana Thonius. I have to say that. Yeah. Because he can't oh, misplay yeah. that. And as you can see, if we follow Makla, we don't even see the people he's attacking. That's how Kogma works. They are off his screen. And obviously that's how Katarina works. This is where Lee Sin tried to, I mean, he, he tried. He'd already done it once on the Baron, but on the Dragon, but he couldn't quite get it on the Baron, unfortunately. You can see he goes across. That's zip, forward a little bit. Zips around, speed him on. And then he tried to, but it was the best one, wasn't it? It was the best one. It's actually funny there. that Kogma would get the Baron yes. and Lee Sin cool as did. I mean, I think he, he was could. bare stunned right away. So can you can you smite while you're stunned? Of course. Okay. All that's right. something. That's something that many people doesn't know. You can smite while you're silent. You can smite while you're stunned. You can smite while you're sleeping. You can smite while you're whatever. Only the only thing stops the smite is the suppression. Yes. That's and right. there are like only a few champions that can suppress. I think it's Malthaha, Warwick, Argot. Yeah. And no more. Just keep them in the full ulti lock. That's all they can do. No. It's the only thing to stop a smite. But very well played by Meet Your Makers. So Meet Your Makers top in the group here. CJ enters. That means CJ enters. We'll be playing Fnatic tomorrow. And Meet Your Makers will be playing SK Telecom Team 1. And I believe that's it from the Cool Kids desk. We do have an interview for you guys, though. So Zoe is going to be with Makata I'm for one for last my, time for my hook, of the day. Oh, my hook to Makla. Uh, yeah, yes, you, oh, that's what you're doing. Hug to Makla. Good luck with that, man. Hope you don't hate me. If, if he's done. Thank you very much, guys. I'm now once more joined by one of the guys from the winning team, and it's huh, once more Mokate. <laughs> nice to see you here again. And of course, we have but, 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 but. You really want me to say it every time, don't you? I love you. I don't want you to say it at all. Also, I want to mention that he's not wearing sandals. That, was, that has been one of the things he actually wanted me to point out. Has someone thought that you're wearing sandals? A lot of people actually, even on Reddit, they're like, why is he wearing sandals at an event? He turned all German. Like he's going for the German holiday styles, like wearing sandals with like the socks really high up. It's it's really nice. So uh, yeah, now that we sorted that out, we might, might want to talk about the game. So let's talk about picking bans first. Uh, we saw you guys banning Zed after we saw how Insect played him uh, just the game before. Uh, Denny went for Lee Sin, which he didn't play any less good than than he, he played Zed. Was that even the right English sentence? I don't think so. However, <laughs> so um, did you? Did, why did you ban Zed then instead of Lee Sin? Uh, because. We know what Lee Sin does. We all know his skill set. And uh, I can say the same about the Z. We just don't know his skills. I, I, I don't know even one skill. I, I just know that he disappears, then he comes back and, and stuff. So yeah, we decided to just ban it out and forget about Z. I wouldn't be lying, but actually Joe and I were looking up his skills right before the game. We were casting, we're like, crap, what does he do? What does he do? I'm going to go through that real quick. But uh, so we saw Vayne band out for Mackler because he had an amazing Vayne game. But then he went with Kogma. T tell us about that. Yeah, he did pretty well. Oh, sorry, I mean, I mean like his champion pool of 80 carries. Oh, OK. Yeah, the, he got the Vayne band out. But if you see his profile, at ranked profile, and uh, you will find out that he has like over 100 game with each AD carry, so good luck with banning him, I guess. 
So right at the beginning, it didn't look too good for you guys uh, up until the point where he went for that lovely triple kill. And from then on, it seemed like you start really to get back into the game. You were like 0-2-0, right? Like at the beginning-ish. Um, three? <laughs> oh, okay, even worse. Um, did, did you, were you worried about that or did you were feeling confident that you're going to get back into that game? Um, definitely the opposite listen gave me such a hard time. He played so amazingly. Uh, I never met such a good jungler ever before. Uh, but uh, we kept in mind that it's not about the. Uh, it's not about me. If our carries do their job, I will do mine as well. Because as long as I can survive the first nuke, uh, I can I can stun and just go and stun one by one every one of them and keep them away from Mackler. So. Uh, it wasn't the case, I think, and uh, the case was just brilliant play from uh, uh, both, uh, not just the uh, marker, but Charo as well as Katarina. Okay, <laughs> as you were hearing, uh, it's the, uh, the excitement in the background. Why are shirts off over there? Crepo is getting turning well, around, and seeing half naked men. I love this event. <laughs> okay, uh, when you guys went three zero in the group stage, Fnatic did that as well. You're playing against SKT Telecom tomorrow. Uh, we have Fnatic playing against CJ Entis. How are you guys going to prepare for this? And the real question is, are you going to party tonight? Um, <laughs> thank you, Karma. <laughs> thank you. Um, well, I don't think... I, we'll just wait off the party, and hopefully we will be able to do that uh, tomorrow, after, after the finals, let's hope. Uh, and yeah, we'll just prepare like for every other match. Just make sure we know what, uh, what our opponent's playing, uh, what to do against them, and think about our strategy that we'll use. We get some, many of them and we just have to pick the one that will work the best for us. As we have to double check what we might be lacking because the early game, our third game in the group stage was so bad that we have to make sure that it won't, it won't happen again in this tournament. Right, so you guys really played amazing, so thanks a lot for bringing us those really good games right at the end here. And of course, good luck for tomorrow. We have our four teams now. Once more, of course, thank you to you as well. Oh, that was, that was the most happy smile I've seen from you. Lovely. It, it was fake. Yeah, it was uh, fake. so, but, 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 I love you. Thank you very much for joining me here as well. We're going to throw it over for a quick commercial break. Afterwards, we're going to be back with the community talk with Nazareth and also we have Shox, who was answering all the questions you asked her uh, via Reddit. So we built the blah, 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 whatever I wanted to say. It was very important. We'll be right back with that.